Sorry. Yeah, no, you messed up. You messed up in the first minute. In the first minute, Memphis Depay is on it. He is on it. What's going on, guys? It is JJ here back with another footballing reaction video. And today, we're going to be staying in Europe for the international break for the Euro 2020 qualifiers. We're going to look at the Netherlands versus Belarus contest in which the Netherlands, they, they just look... They look so good in today's contest. It, it was actually unbelievable that this was a European qualifier, not from the quality of Belarus, but from the quality of play from the Netherlands side. This Dutch side, they really have a revamp in talent from the end of the 2014 World Cup and not qualifying for the 2016 Euros or the 2018 World Cup. It looked like the Netherlands were sort of down and out, but now this team, literally from front to back, is stacked with young talent and they the talent is proven the talent is proven as well so it, it was an amazing game to watch nonetheless all of the players just playing at the top caliber so we're going to take a look at the highlights from the netherlands belarus contest let me know some of your guys' thoughts down in the comments below on the match and on the potential matchup coming later this week early next week between germany and the netherlands but without further ado let's get into the video for the netherlands versus belarus highlights as well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. It's got some dog hair everywhere. Yeah, no, you messed up. You messed up in the first minute. In the first minute, Memphis Depay is on it. He is on it. That is just... It's so dis... Yep, just blocking out the haters. Let me just spoon. If I had some spoons, you know, th this is this is. <laughs> Memphis Depay, he he was absolutely class in this game. He he honestly probably he was the best player on the pitch by a mile. I mean, I, I would say Van Dyke as well. Van Dyke and Delic were phenomenal in the back. Wijnaldum as well. Just the, Netherlands, the Dutch performance in general. Blin, that left back. I, 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 I kind of liked that he returned to that position. I wonder if he's. I don't, I'm not sure if he play. He plays in a center back too with the league uh, for Ajax. But I mean, you know Virgil Van Dijk. So. It makes it look so simple sometimes. Yeah, look at that. That's fantastic defending. Good ball in. Unlucky. Another great one in. Belarus were defending very, very well, in my opinion, in the first half. It's just the first minute goal. You, you make a first minute mistake and it comes back to haunt you. Mm -hmm. Yep, and there's the other one. Ronald Koeman must be, he must be very happy with this team. Is that Gigi Wijnaldum? Yep. Yeah, man like Gigi Wijnaldum. He's he's on fire for Liverpool. He's on fire for the Netherlands. He he could do no wrong at this moment. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was an amazing celebration. They they Oh wow. That is awesome. They came together for that. I like that. Just endless. It's just an endless onslaught. The, 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 God. Guys, I'm not sure. I'm not sure Germany is going to be able to beat this. If, I, if I'm being completely honest, this team with Bergwin, Babel, it, Prom, uh, is it Quincy Promise or Proms? Uh, Memphis Depay in attack. They have a solid midfield and they have one of the best defenses in the world in terms of a national team. Maybe not from the fullback stand standards, but you know, from the center back pairing, it's unreal. It's, it's absolutely unreal. And Nathan Ake on the bench? Oh. I'm sorry. I apologize if I seem so one sided towards this Dutch team. It's just their talent is just unreal to me. I, I, I honestly think there's only a couple nations in the world that can top it in England, Brazil, France. Maybe not even Germany. I'm not sure Germany. Germany, yeah. Germany, probably. Spain? Spain, yeah. Yeah, probably Spain, yeah. But that's probably it. To be honest, that's probably it. The potential is there. It's there. Good move. 
Majewski. On Knox. Good up a rust. It was a good move. It was a good move. That, that, not so much. That was not so much a good move. This, yeah, this was one of the few Van Dyke mistakes. It, it, it's like, it's like even when he's like close to making a mistake, he just finds a way to like fix it. Except against Ryan Babel. Ryan Babel got him. Mm. It's great defending. And it's just that ball over top. They they just literally I, I felt so bad for Belarus watching this game because it was just consistent. It was per, it was consistent and persistent. And then yeah, and then they get then they get fouls like these. Uh, Gigi Munyalo in the right place at the right time, and the defender just a terrible challenge. Yeah, that's a garbage challenge. And yeah, you put Memphis Depay on it. It's... Dang you, Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay, why? Why? I apologize. I apologize for this one. It's just... Yep, and it just continues as well. They're just, it's just, uh, uh, guys, it's just a consistent onslaught. I just, it just hurts to watch. It hurts to watch Belarus just get beat on like this. And Depay was trying for more. Depay, Depay could have had, I, in my opinion, he could have had four goals. I think he had four clear cut chances in this game. One was a scuff, one was a save. But otherwise, he, he had possibility of four goals. I don't, I don't know what the expected goals was for this, but it's something wild. Yeah, and then Van Dyke getting. Why does Virgil Van Dyke get to get in on the action? I don't understand this team. This Dutch team. Why is Virgil Van Dyke even there? It's just. It's just this Dutch team is just that good that Virgil van Dijk can just hang out round about, you know, round about the goal. Deli Blind, cover his position, no big deal. Get a header for a goal, why don't you? Just continue to score goals. Make the claim that you're the best defender in the world. I'm triggered just by watching this. Netherlands, <laughs> Belarus taken care of. Um, I don't think the Netherlands are going to have problems qualifying for Euro 2020, guys. Um, I don't know about you. But they look like one of the best European teams at the moment. Uh, I think they can compete with just about everyone. You could say the same for Ajax in club play. They look like they can compete with just about anyone. Coaching from the top to bottom in the Netherlands from the disappointments of the last two international tournaments seems to have just been stellar. Because the talent that is coming through and the players that they're producing at this, at this high level is just it's unreal. But yeah, you guys need to let me know your thoughts on the Netherlands-Belarus game down in the comments below. Let me know what other international teams you guys would like to see on the channel for this long international break. And we're going all the way until next Tuesday and maybe even beyond with videos. So yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.